Hello everyone, this is Angela Profit with Paperless Planners. Thank you for joining me on becoming more productive and more profitable by going paperless. Today I'm going to review the iCal calendar app for Apple. It is awesome when you know how to set it up and use it to your advantage as you're running your business or even if you're a busy mom, it can really help anybody. So I'm going to open up the calendar application down here. One of the first things to notice is understanding that you can have multiple calendars in multiple applications. And I suggest choosing one and having your calendar backed up and driven by one application to avoid confusion. So a lot of clients that I work with that I'm trying to clean up their back-end system for their calendar, I'll oftentimes see iCloud, Gmail, sometimes multiple Gmail accounts. So when you're setting things up, make sure that you choose one. And not that Gmail or iCloud is better, they pretty much do the same thing, but I choose iCloud because Apple's really known for that. And so all of our calendars are run through iCloud. So for example, you've got the meetings, personal, I share calendars with multiple vendors that I work with and multiple people. You can subscribe to US Holidays. Um, we like Sunrise and Sunset because we plan weddings and events and that's important. I work with a lot of Jewish clients so I want to make sure that I have their holidays so I know when to contact them and more importantly when not to contact them on a holiday so that I can make sure that I am being respectful towards their religion. You can also subscribe to a birthdays folder. So it's it's really awesome, like all the things that you can do. And then if you don't want to see everything at once, you simply uncheck everything. And it's awesome. I only choose to have certain things checked for various reasons. But I'll go ahead and get it back to the way that I had it. And it often looks like our calendars look like a Christmas tree <laughs> based on what's going on. We have things color-coded for various reasons. And setting up the color code it can help you be super, super productive. So I'm using a shortcut by taking two fingers and sliding to the left and the right to get to my various weeks. I personally like to look at things in week view just because... When, I have, when I'm traveling or have other a lot going on, I like to see it at a view of the week. You can always view it by day, you can view it by month, and then view it by year. But again, having your calendar come through one application is really effective. Another thing that I love is you can share your calendar with various people. So for example, on... You can choose one of the calendars, tap with two fingers, and you can go to your share settings and share your calendar with people. And you can give them editing access or view only access. I have one person that that is her, her main focus. She operates the calendar for me. And having too many cooks in the kitchen can sometimes get confusing, but it always is going to tell you who's making changes. For example, up here you see that there's eight notifications that someone else has changed so Allison is in charge of the calendar and it says when things are added and when things are deleted so that is really really good another thing is make sure that you set up your preferences based on how you want to see your calendar I like to see it in seven day view I start my week on Sunday you can pick the times that you start and here's where you set up all of your colors right here you can also show your birthdays and your calendars. Again, under your accounts, if you have multiple accounts right here, make sure that you understand where you're putting things. Often the number one confusion that people do not use the calendar application is because they're so confused by all the colors and where things are going between their phone and their iPad. So often it's just that they have way too many accounts here. Make sure that you have this set up on push so that your the iCloud is pushing the information to your calendar. You can set up alerts. I have alerts set up for every 10. Um, another important thing is if you want to turn on or off invitations and notification center. 
And with advanced, if you travel a lot, you might want time support turned on. So there's various things that you can do in the calendar app. It's a great little application when you know how to use it and keep things relatively clean with you and your team. And again, when you don't want to see all of this, you can sim simply unclick each of the calendars and only view what you want to be viewing. Hopefully this was helpful. If you liked the video, please like it and pass it on. Good luck.